Hey guys, it's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to week three of the Paldean Battle Association. Last week, if you haven't already seen, I'll give you a second or two just to avoid the spoilers, but we did manage to win. Uh, I think it was 3 0 in the end. Was it 3 0? Was it 1 0? Was it 2 0? I don't know. We won. Um, so we are back on track for the season. We are 1 1, so we are not heading into the abyss of 0 2 with the daunting task of actually just trying to register our first win of the season. Now, I'm going to try and keep this intro and team builder short today. Um, as you will have seen, actually, I will have put the match up and some of the uh, team slides uh, up already. Reason being, uh, one, I know the battle is long, and two, I want to make these team builder sections uh, shorter, so the overall videos are a bit shorter, because I know that longer videos aren't as easy to retain an interest in. So, we're going to try something a bit different. Make sure you leave some feedback on what you think of the team builder. Do you think it's enough time to actually look at the, you know, the, the builds and understand them, or do you think you actually do prefer a more in-depth review of the team that is coming? Just let me know. Um, but talking about that kind of thing too, make sure you do leave a like on the video if you haven't already. Make sure you check out all the other videos from the PBA, previous uh, PPL seasons if you haven't seen all those before. And make sure you, uh, I can't speak, subscribe to the channel because we will have exciting things coming up in 2025 including PPL season 4 when that ever, uh, whenever that decides to start up again. That will be happening at some point next year. Um, as well as many other sort of leagues and I'd like to expand into other uh, things as well. So. Yeah, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And I will see you on the flip side for our battle against Lars and the Terminators. I, I can't actually remember if I've said who I was playing. So apologies, Lars. But I'm playing Lars. So I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, everyone. Let me bring my friend in closer. We're here for week three of the PBA against Lars. Um, absolutely dreadful matchup this week. I feel like I'm a broken record when it comes to uh, saying that at the start of each battle, but genuinely, this is a dreadful matchup. Um, I would have put it on the screen at the start, and I left a building for this game until hours before we play. Um, so the council have helped. Uh, am I confident in the team? Not overly. Um, I'm just happy if I don't get 6 0 because this man's got Zamzenta and Darkrai. Like, what do you do against that? Um, he does bring the Dax Bun, so I thought he would. Um, because it does shut down the Chi pretty well with Volbate Body. However, there's no Darkrai. And once that goes down, Chi Yu is kind of nutty. Um, so we've got the Doggo, Zamazenta. We've got the Iron Moth. Got the Slow King, got the Corvin Knight, got the Shaman, and you've got the Dax Bun. So no fire moves can be clicked until Dax Bun is down. There is no Quag Side though, which means um, I click Wave Crash and something takes a lot of damage. Or I click Flip Turn and lots of things take a lot of damage. So I could lead Palafin. Like it seems obvious because you know it's Palafin. But I feel like that's probably the safest bet I have. What could they lead? If they don't lead with Shaman, then I'm probably okay. Um, so Dax Bun is here. And in prep, I very, very nearly brought Twisted Spoon Chi Yu. Now the reason I nearly brought Twisted Spoon Chi Yu is because the two hit KOs, Max HP, Max Super Death, Dax Bun from full oh, after Stealth Rocks. If there's no rocks, there's no roll. If there's, if I get the spadef drop, it then kills. Um, so he leads Moth, which is excellent. And I lead off with the Palafin. Now, is there anything this thing can do to kill me? Probably if it's Specs, right? I am quite bulky in the Special Defense. Um, I wonder if he's Rocky Helmet on his, uh, what's it called? He might be Rocky Helmet on his, what the hell is it called? You're not Booster. So what if your choice specs? So I'm not, a choice spec sludge wave could kill me here, but also jet punch could, I mean jet punch doesn't kill, but he might think jet punch could kill from here. So I think I flip turn. He could draw us, okay. So he goes out into the Shaman. Yep, Shaman. And I get to go into Torn and I get to click knock off on anything. So Ivy Helmet. 
It's a crit, we'll take that. You are helmet, okay. So if I can knock the helmet off this thing, I mean, there's no chance of me knocking the helmet off this thing, because he won't let me do that. But we go Torn. We've got early game momentum, which is fantastic. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but Lars is 2-0. He hasn't lost yet this season. Um, so what's your flying switch in, Court the Knight? I think I knock off... Uh, yeah, you actually haven't got a switch in to this. Uh, Zama's enter. I'm bulky, so I'm kind of like sad I'm not offensive in any way. Um, Moff probably doesn't want to switch into a knockoff to be honest. Um, but I am AV, so I can take a hit. Sloking, if I can knock that off, that'd be fantastic. Um, if I can knock off Corviknight and it's like leftovers, or if it's like light play or something, to get rid of uh, those extra long screens. Um, he could go Daxpun. But Daxpun is going to be a special wall, I think. Um, he could fear the heatwave, which is why he's thinking about not going into Corviknight. So I think Slowking is probably his best player, right? Breadcat. He does go into the Dax though. I mean, that's just all kind of right. Uh, we knock off whatever item it has though. Left in this. So it could be Wish Pass, right? What are you gonna... There's no Hurem. So... King Gambit is insane once Zamazenta goes down. Um, how much, like, you could paralyze me, but how much does that matter, right? Uh, Dax Bun. Max for death. Bleak Wind Storm still does 27% to 32%. So I could just Bleak Wind and see what he does and scout. We'll click Bleak Wind and see what he does. We land, which is nice. Uh, are you going to T-Wave or are you going to wish? The Tom Pass. So we've got good chip. Good chip. Um, there's nothing that you really want to go into. I don't think. Other than Call the Knight. Like, if you go Moth, I can take the hit and you turn out. Unless you sub. Uh, that could be a problem. Because I don't... No, I am faster. I am faster. So I could actually knock. If Moth comes in. Like, Zama's Enter isn't safe. He's got to go Corviknight, right? Corviknight or Slowking are his only plays. The fact he baton passed is huge. We've got big chip, which means that thing is now in two hit KO range of, I think, Dark Pulse. Um, again, Zamazenta is the, a, a check to that, but I need to not let Daxbun get the um, what's it called off. So I knock off here, right? So maybe. So I click knock off. On terror. Which we expect. And it's terrified because that's what we've got. Now I should have checked if I actually take a hit from this. Um, so I'm faster, you're not scarred. What were you specs? You were specs, okay. You over you do hit, so actually get rid of that specs. I may be with some special defense. Yeah. So that's nice. Um, that gives me a free U turn out into uh, my. What's it called? Man, if I had Chilling Water on this, I considered it at some point, you know. Um, that's good chip. And now. Okay, so we are going to get some regen up. Um, I can regen my health over and over again. Go for night. Nice. So we go Raging Roger, right? And you have precisely nothing for a Volt Switch right now. Uh, yeah, I did keep Volt Switch on there. That's nice. So I've got Thunderclap, which is slightly annoying because I don't think Corviknight is going to be attacking me. So you are leftovers. Okay, that's fine. So we need to get the Dax Bun. Um, you have absolutely no business staying in here, right? Absolutely none. Yeah, you have no business staying in. Um, the fact that we've got all this momentum is huge. Yes, you go into this. Good chip, good chip. Um, is there any downside to me going into Chi Yu and just... 
Actually, is there any downside to me going into Palafin here? Um, Slow King. Let's say you are. If you're not physical, Wave Crash isn't going to kill unless I'm adamant. Wave Crash could potentially kill, maybe. I should probably check and see how much the Raging Bolt just done with that Volt Switch. 21 to 25 if he is Spadef, and I feel like that's about right, so he must be Spadef, right? Um, I go into this, and I click Thunder Wave. Does that give up momentum too much? Probably not, because if he goes into the Zamazenta or um, something else, then I, I click Thunder Wave. There's nothing on this opponent's team that wants to take the Thunder Wave, right? Other than Shaman. But if you go Shaman, I'm not sure you go Shaman. Starbo, what's that? Corviknight? I see where you I am Chopple. How much does Ke So the only thing is here, right? I haven't got. I mean, there's nothing that he wants to go into in terms of actually checking my Raging Bolt. Like, it's so free. So free in this game. Because uh, I could stay in here and, let's just say, Corbin Knight. Are you physically defensive? So, you're going to have the body press. Or are you going to have body press? Um, I am Chopple. Kowtow does 25 to 30 if you are max defense. So I could stay in and see, but I could also just go into Raging Roger, which I think I like more. Um, because I can just click the Volt Switch button again. I mean, he'll go back into Slow King. So I could, I could have realistically stayed in there. But he can't go into anything here, which is gonna be a big problem for Raging Bolt. Right, you can't. The Shaman's not going to be able to do much to me, even if you Earth Power. Dax Bun might wish protect me. But that lets me get a free Sword Stance off with my King Gambit. And he doesn't know I don't have Iron Head, to be fair. So, uh, plus two Kowtow will do a lot into almost anything that isn't Zamiata. So you Dax Bun. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to get a slow ball switch off. If you want to play rough, yeah, you wish. Which, um... Makes sense, makes sense. Here. That was a lot of damage. Imagine if I crit in there. That would have been nice. Um, let's go into you. Because I can just fret in this thing. Um, to protect. So let's flip turn, because if you want to go into Shaman, that's fine, because it means this thing just doesn't heal. That's fine. So you click Protect. You're going to go into Shaman next. Uh, you're not... But that means... So I could... There's no hazards on this team, right? Other than potentially top six spikes. So I'm going to I'm gonna take the Rocky Helmet chip from the Shaman, um, just to keep momentum going. I could have hard predicted this. But I feel like the chip's still nice. And actually, I can just kind of click knock off again. And crit. Or is that just a lot of damage? No, it's just a lot of damage. It's just what choice band uh, <laughs> thingy does. Um, so we go into this, right? And we click. Um, we click the Bleak Wind Storm. You can't Terra, because you already Terra'd on your Iron Moth. Um, I could U-turn predicting something. What that would be, I don't know. I don't think you're body pressed though, because I don't think you're expecting me to bring the King Gambit. Um, let's click Knock. See what you go into here. You might go Dax Burn again, which is fine. Starbo, what are you? 
I'll take knocking this off. 100%. Um, any kind of less chip we get on this. Um, how much does Brave Bird do to me? I am bulky, so Corviknight. Focus Blast is just 26 to 31% if you're physically defensive. Um, and Brave Bird does 45 max if you're not invested. I'm going to Focus Blast and then I'm going to use that now, I think. That could be a misplay. We hit the Focus Blast, we're hitting all our moves, which is nice. Uh, that's got to be special bulky, right? You turns out. What are you going to go into? He hasn't got anything. This is going to be a very slow game. I can already feel that. Um, the issue is he hasn't got anything he wants to switch into here. It's a Moosey. So what do you? What can you do to him here? I just go straight screen tail, right? No need to mess around. And if uh, if I do need to mess around, then I come into Chi Yu and I just click the uh, I click sidekick and get as much damage off on this thing as I can. But we we have citrus to take that like uh, take hits really well. I am max. Fucking hell, is that choice band? Are you banded? Uh, let's go. Where are you? Screen tail and then uh, Zamas and. Uh, So, Heavy Slam. Yeah, that's Banded. That's Banded as all hell. Um, so I got into this. With draws, what do you got into? I don't think it matters because... Um, it doesn't matter because I just go into my Raging Bolt. I think he clicks Wish. Because Wish protects me here. This thing's gonna be a pain to, to kind of break, I think. But we click Switch. We click Switch. You play Rush. Okay. Um, okay. That's fine. So now we go into. We go into this. Feel we click close combat. Where do I click flip turn? He could uh, protect it. So I think flip turn, yeah, he protects. So flip turn is by far the safest move we've got. Now, is he going to go something to predict? Do I care if he goes Shaman? Not really. So he can't get the plus one anymore either, so Jet Punch is looking really good for the clip for the end game. I could get my rocks up here. No. Chip. I don't know if I want to let him get a synthesis off though. We are wearing his team down slowly but surely. Um, we go into this thing. And we click the bleak wind storm button. We draw. We go slow king, I imagine. Starvo, what is that? Are you gonna roost here? I could try and hit Focus Blast, but I think you turning out into Raging Bolt is my play. Because 
because he hasn't got a switch into it. And he must click Roost here, right? He must. If he doesn't, there's just one less piece that's there for Tornadoes to really take hold. If he U-turns out, okay. Okay, let's Do you go Zamazenta now, then? I feel like you would go Zamazenta now. So maybe he hasn't got Roost. Which I find unusual. Hmm. Oh, I can't wait for- if Daxpun goes down, Chi wins. Like, genuinely, I think it just wins. The only thing that takes a hit is Corviknight. Because it's, it's offensive Zamazenta. So I just need that Duck Spun gone. Brick Cat. So I don't take a play rough, which is really annoying. I'm going to go to this um, and just click the Eclipse Storm again. Because I need to force it to protect, right? You wish, yep. I knew this would be a pain in the ass. And people said that Dax Bum wasn't going to come. Bleak Wind Storm. Protects. Do you have Thunder Wave as your last move? So you protect, that's fine. Still don't want to take psychics. So I've even stored. Let's the death drop anyone. No wish. So you're gonna go into court right here, right? And start. And if you're not, then fair. You can actually stay in. What will take this play rough then? I could go into Ubertone Pass as your last move. I could go into this and get my rocks up. Which will go a long way. Perfect. So this is nothing. Um, I'm gonna set my rocks up. You might decide to wish. In which case I'd roll the next turn because I don't want to let them pass the wish on to what they want to pass it on to. Okay, so if you go down Zenta, I think I'll let you have it. Could also go into the uh, Moth. So I think I'll let this thing go down. Moth isn't boots, so actually the Stealth Rocks are going to be really nice. You could default with Corviknight, actually. So we have U turn. Is U turn what we've seen? Have we seen anything else? But the rocks being here is nice. It limits that. That shaman is so low. Like, honestly, it's just that Dax bun I need to kill. Once Dax bun's gone, I, I can just click a fire move. Just click that terrifier OP and win. If he does kill me off with Moth, I then go into my. Uh, what's it called? Palafin. Jet Punch. If they want to go Shaman, then they'll die to two. Gustavo. This is annoying. I'm gonna go into Roger because he's either gonna defog or he's gonna um, roost. Now you have to switch into this Volt Switch and Rocks combo on something. This is so close, it's like, it, it, it's a game of when someone's first piece falls, it's game over. Type thing. 
I need to keep this alive because I don't think Corbin like can touch me. I think he'll go. He, he has to go slow kick, right? He has to. If you do, I could go Chi Yu and click Psychic. Because anything that isn't. Corviknight resists that. I don't think you go Corviknight on it. If you switch out, that's fine. Gen C. It's got to be the same Could go Gambit. Do I go Gambit? Not really. I go to this and I click flip turn. I need to be careful because he is chipping me down, but I'm still well in a good range to have uh, Jet Punch do some work in game. And actually, that Shaman, just not letting Shaman heal, is the, like, the biggest thing. Once Shaman's gone, I can then click Flip Turn and Jet Punch freely. So he might think I'm out of a band and I'm just clicking Wave Crash. But if, he let, if, if I get the hit off on this, then that's going to do great damage where regenerate is not going to get up to a high amount. Honestly, if Zamazent dies, King Gambit also goes crazy. Um, even though I haven't got Steel Move, <laughs> I've got Swords Dance. He stays in. So is he going to Chili? What is that? Uh, Defense Berry. Okay. What do I go into? So I need Corviknight, I don't need that. I think I go into this. Because he really doesn't like anything. Jack told me to get rid of Heat Wave, and I kind of wish I still had it because that would be really nice for a. Uh... So I can't knock it. Um, he could T Wave, so what's that? Do I scout for the T Wave? The ice beam. Unless you turn. And let's go into King Gambit. Force him out. And then we can pull the double back into this. Or do I click Sword Dance? And sludge Bomb, that's perfect. You have to switch. Like, yeah, you're plus one defense, but you're not gonna have, like a cow tap cleave. Um. Do you go straight Corviknight, that's the question, or do you go straight Zamazenta? Because I think Iron Head from King Gambit here, let's say you are, I don't, I don't know if you're max HP, you're going to have a bit of HP, but Iron Head, uh, I'll take off. So Iron Head could still do 27%, right, with my investment, but if I'm adamant max attack, that will do like a third. So like, he'll have to fear that, he doesn't get the damage boost anymore. So I could T-Wave here, predicting that, or I could Sword Dance predicting the... I'm going to click Sword Dance, I'm going to be aggressive here, because I sack off the Scream Tail. If you... Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So I, I think you're especially defensive. I don't think you're defensive. So let's go Corvin Knight, uh, and let's take off physical defense. Count out plus two to 64 to 75. So I think you're in range. That's if you're not physically offensive, of course. If you are. Kills, is that a crit? No crit. First blood, Corvin Knight's gone. So what does that actually help? Not a lot. Um, So your choice band. Uh, I don't think there's any world I take that hit from. Uh, Zama Center. Two 
Yeah, even with Chopple, there's no world in which I live this. Um, so we go into Skibbity Riz and we sack it off. After that, we can go into Cheat You and just click Psychic. Because I don't think anything left on Lars's team can actually take that hit. Or not two anyway. Um, so what's dead? Corbinite's dead. Don't care if you iron hard, whatever, heavy slam me, you stone bitch, okay. You crit me. To be honest, that might have mattered actually. Let's have a look. I mean, Stone Edge. So you're choiced into Stone Edge. You're choice banded into Stone Edge. Do I want to sacrifice King Gambit to find out if he's choice banded? I'm almost certain he is. Um, Stone Edge. Does 25 to 30. I was at 184. And that was a crit. 38 to 45. That is a that is a high roll crit. So I go back into this. So now we've got the Supreme Overlord going as well. So I'm gonna click the Thunder Wave button. Or do I click the Sword Stance and just nuke something button? And if he switches out, that confirms my suspicions he's he's banded. He's got to play a game of what's my sack now. And is there a point where I want to just suck a punch this thing? Do I want to wait until the end of the game for that? Because uh, this thing can't heal outside of Wish. He might not think that I actually have a uh, sack punch. Because I've shown T-Wave, I've shown Sword Sans, I've shown He has more. If I have raw kowtow then, raw kowtow, so you're not going to be, I'm going to, I am going to sucker punch, because you're specs, you're not going to have sub as well, if you have sub on specs, expecting knockoff, then that's just genius play, and I can't actually fault that, um, he could also be scouting for it, and actually, but oh, moth would be like an odd thing, I think he's sacrificing the moth here, so how much does Zamzen to take from plus two? Uh, one fallen ally. Suck Punch does a great big, I mean, let's just say you've got some HP. Suck Punch and this dies. So, um, Moth's dead, which is another fire resist. Is a fire resist gone? So, Moth is down. Did nothing, which is incredible. I don't know how I managed to do that. Yes, yeah, so you now go back into this. Do you finally click the body press button? How much does body press do to my uh, Tornadus? It still does 46% with choice ban max attack. Uh, yeah, that's kind of gross. So, what has this opponent got? What has he got left? This is still useful. We go bird up. If he clicks Stone Edge, fantastic play. I can't fault that. Um, he hasn't clicked Body Press once yet. Close combat, okay. Holy shit! That does a lot. Uh, I can't take another one. Does Roger go? I think Roger dies here. Sorry, Roger.
Right, so Zamazenta gets a kill. Um, so, I know I can take a hit, right? With Bird Up, unless they crit me. Um, your switch in here is slow to flash. Your switch in is nothing. You don't switch into Blue Blue Storm. So I'm just going to click it. And if I miss, then fuck me. Because Dash Bun, if I hit that thing twice, it doesn't get to get a wish up. Dax Bun, I should say. And as long as I keep this thing at like over 60% health, I should be okay. Should be okay. This is ahead of a game. And if he locks into close combat, I do have the jet punch as an option. And also, the more allies that die, the stronger King Gambit becomes. So, like, you. Slow King's actually quite a lot of health. So it does a lot of damage. But I think you just go and click a... Uh, what's it called? Slack off here, right? Oi, no, no, you chilly. You chilly reception. Every day of the week, you chilly reception. I think I've shown all my moves off on this as well. You put Chili, right? So that's Sludge Bomb, Chili, Slack Off. And what else? God, this battle's going on forever as well. It's gonna, <laughs> is it going to come down to timer? <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? But Shaman is low. Dax Bun is half or so. We're just getting closer to that Chi Yu endgame, actually. You hard switch into the moose. Okay. That was risky. That was very, very risky. But now we're going to go into Chi and Mill. We are choice scarfed. But you don't have anything to switch into this. Do I need to keep my dark typing? <sighs> no. How much does this do? You're taking three rounds of stealth rock and you're taking a U-turn. You're on about 8%. So, like, terrifier move kills, right? So you can't stay in. I'm clicking psychic. And if I get this damage off, then Jet Punch kills. You're a bit more than I hoped. Although, this might be a 2-hit KO. If I get a special defense drop, that would be huge. That looks like a 2 hit KO. I'm clicking it again. I probably got a roll in my favour. But we're doing that. We're, we're doing that. Um, you could switch Glow King. You could go Glow King. So actually, maybe going Hard Gambit was the play. But the extra Stealth Frog Chip I'm getting on the Zamazenta is huge.
See, I haven't got the HP bar, but to me it looks like he's at about 40%, which means I need a higher roll to kill him. Um, I don't want to... Let's go, let's go Tornadus. Tornadus is a safe middle ground. If they click Thunder Wave here, then that's rough. But I, again, I can just keep clicking the Cypress button. We draw. Into Glow King. Okay. You are physically defend, oh, defensive on this, right? So, Bleak Wind is free. No poison. How much is knockoff doing? I mean, you don't even have an item, and I am minus. minus attack. I'm going hard Gambit, and I'm going hard Thunder Wave. I should have U-turned, actually. I don't know why I didn't. It's going to do no damage, though, so... If I lose this game now, because Slick can get someone HP, I'm an idiot. You Sludge Bomb again. So, are you going to let me Thunder Wave? The Zama's Enter. Which will be huge. Do I, need, do I need Palafin anymore? Um, you draw what you're going to switch into. Shaman? So you let me have the Shaman. King Gambit is more expendable than Palafin. The reason I say that is because I can hit the Zamazenta harder. And that Zamazenta is the problem. So I'm clicking Kowtow, and I'm just going to take my kill. If this is a kill. It might not be. Uh, I think it's probably still going to be faster than me. If you go to Zamazenta here, though, I just click Psychic and win, I think. Although, Glow King is annoying. I don't know if Glow King takes, like, you know. If, I don't know if Glow King takes two psychics after Rocks. So I'm assuming it does. You ton pass. This is good chip, though. This is good chip. This is good chip. Do you still outspeed me? Imagine if I had a clip Thunder Wave here. Can you imagine if I clicked Thunder Wave here? Yeah, so you go into this. I think I sack off my King Gambit, right? That's big! Holy shit, that's big. Um, I clicked Sucker Punch then. Do you ever predict? ECC. But I'm dead. I'm so incredibly dead. King Gambit is huge. Um, so Samazenta is 3 and 0. Um, you're minus 1. Do I have any business in clicking the sidekick or do I just click the Dark Pulse button now? Zamas enter. Into Chi Yu. You're minus one. Thirty percent minimum. What is Dax spun at? Dax. Spun. 
I think I click the dark pulse. Because he'll sack things off, I think. Right? I think he'll sack things off. What he'll sack off, though, actually, I don't even know. If he goes Dax Bun here, he loses. If he sacks this thing off, my life gets so much easier. Who draws? What do you go into? You, you sack the Shaman, I think, is the way right play. Yeah, you sack Shaman. He goes Daxbun, I go hard, hard Palafin. Because I am not letting him get a wish up. Not a chance. He might go uh, Zamazenta. The only issue is Zamazenta. I got into this and I flip turn. You can wish protect if you want. That's fine. Actually, do I just get wave crash? I don't think wave crash. I flip turn. Healing this thing up is fine. Healing this thing up is fine. I am choice banned. You have to go slow king here. You have to, you have no choice. But not to. Um, so Chi, you got a kill. Which is great. Um, what died? It was Shaman died. I outspeed you. Probably kill you. You actually survive. That's ridiculously big. Um, you go into this. Do I go into this? Or do I go into Chi Yu? We go into this. I'm going to click Beat Queen, so you can't go to the Zamas and Tricky Lab. So it's, it's, it's good to know that the Wave Crash will kill this. Um, so next time I get Palafin in, I, kick, I click Wave Crash, basically. So now my play is to U-turn. See what we want to do here. I just need to get this thing dead. Just get this thing dead. Basically, if Gloking comes in, Chi Yu comes in and clicks Psychic and kills something. Which is what my opponent can't afford, basically. Thing is, they could PP storm me out of uh, Wish as well. Do you wish again? If you wish, I'm clicking Wave Crash. I do not care at this stage. You can go Slow King. Play rough. Okay. Do I care? How much does this now do? Palafin, Tornadus. No, not Palafin, Tornadus. Uh, what are you called? Dax Bun. 
I am the hero form. Wave crash kills 100% of the time. Do I kill myself? Let's click wave crash. Protect. He could go blue king here, right? Which I think is what he's going to do. I think you go Glow King. If you don't, and you let me have this, then that is shocking, quite frankly. You withdraw into Slow King. I'm genius. Now, do you have Thunder Wave? You have Sludge Bomb, Slack Off. Uh, Daxpun will take. I think Daxpun is just too much. Which is so annoying. Well, I don't think two Dark Pulses and a Stealth Rocks will kill it. Slow King. dies to Dark Pulse, basically. Um, Psychic does... Oh, that's normal Slow King. Uh, Slow King... Gallop. Psychic does very little. Uh, I Dark Pulse. You stay in. You live. You T-Wave. You Sludge Bomb. Fine. Fine with me. We draw into the dash button. After rocks, we're getting so close. See, that, that could be a roll. I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna flinch him. Flinch, 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 flinch. Come on! I think that's the game. That's a ridiculous. I'm sorry for the reaction, because that flinch is huge. Um, flinch is huge. So, yeah. What are you going to do to him now? So, after rocks, do you die to this Dark Pulse? I think you might. I'm going to. Lick it. Am I going to click it? Do I sack Torn? I think I sack Torn. Yeah. Because this thing is definitely in range of Dark Pulse if it close combats. Yeah. We took that a lot better that time. Um, you're faster, but if you're not, for some reason, then I'll just sack off Palafin. Yeah. Yo, Tornado just put in a shift this game. Also, Zamazenta put in a shift this game, I have to say. Um, Gambit's dead. But now, uh, Chi Yu just comes in, clicks Dark Pulse, and wins me the game. Because Slow King was at such low health, it can't take it. We outspeed, Chi Yu gets 4 I think. Torn dies, uh, 0 and 1. Yo, Chi Yu uh, is actually going to be one of my favourite mods. Uh, like, it's so much fun with Terra. Like, we Dark Pulse. 
we get the KO, and that is the good game. And by good game, I mean holy shit, that was a good game. Um, sorry for the flinch, and sorry for the reaction, but uh, I, I really needed that. <laughs> I needed that. I think I probably still had that game, but I the, the flinch just made it ten times easier. So. Um, GG's last incredible game, incredible game. These games have all been great so far this season, to be honest. Um, guys, if you did enjoy that, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'm sorry it was a long battle. I see the recording is 53 minutes, so this is going to be a long, old battle. Um, but hopefully it's been worth every minute. So thanks for watching this, guys, and I'll see you next week for week four of the PBA uh, against someone I, I don't actually know who it is. I haven't looked yet, so I'll see you then. Bye.